Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's Wednesday the 19th of May. We have new mods. We have some updates. And don't worry, today I have got, I've got my microphone plugged in properly. So uh, the updates are as follows. From top left of the map, Ravensburg by Top Ace 888, the Geringhoff Harvest Star HV660 by USXI3SD and Landmensch, we'll talk about that in a little while, the Amazon D1 by Kawa and QWERTY PL, the Lizard MP480 by GDB, the Lizard BT9700 by GDB, the Valtra S Series by STV Modding and Farmari99, uh, and the Seasons Geo Ravensburg console factories by top ace 888 have all had updates today in front of me then now this is showing as an update this is the Geringhoff harvest star hv660 now i don't remember seeing this before so i think that's part of the update is it coming to console and that could be this mod dropped when i was away on holiday what, three weeks ago when i had a week off Either way, I haven't reviewed it, so we'll have a look. Now, on the mod hub, it's down as the Geringhoff Harvest Star HV660. When you come into the console mod hub, it's down as the Lizard Harvest Line. I, I don't know why. Probably because of the Geringhoff, it's, you know, we can't have the name. 3.47 megabytes download, seven slots on console. This is by USXI7SD and Land Mensch. Part of the update did say it's added this bit here, which is the transport device. So the beauty of this is a folding header, 6.6 .6 meters wide. Now we have got the Cressoni ones, but this is the Geringhoff version. And this attached on the front, if you're going to be driving down the road with it folded and attached to the harvester, you attach this on the front and it's got lights and it's got the warning things. It's all very nice indeed. We can pick this up. He says we can pick this up and move it around wherever we want to, which is nice. Now, the other good thing about it is this particular bit on the front here is strap downable, which means when attached to the header, if you want to put the header onto a trailer, you can strap the header down via this. Now, it doesn't have to be a, a header trailer. There's not a header trailer for it. The whole point about this is it's, it reduces costs. It saves time with foldable headers. That's the whole point. You can transport them whilst still attached to the harvester. The transport device is six slots, by the way, which seems quite a lot, because in that seven, that's six. Anyway, I suppose because that's got lighting on it as well. Now, as part of this pack, it does also say that there is a CQ box. Now, the CQ models range, there's supposed to be a model version of this header. It says to find in category decoration. Now, I've been through the placeables decoration miscellaneous. I've been through the regular tools miscellaneous. I've looked everywhere and I can't find that. Now, that could be a console thing. It might be it hasn't. we haven't got that as part of the console mod update. So if we go to tools, we go to headers. The HL660. 38 grand for a 6.6 .6 meter slot count will drop down from seven to one options available we can change the main color to anything on that palette so you can get it to match up to whatever harvester you're using in particular that's entirely up to you so if we do let's go with well, it's not a challenger harvester but we'll put it on that so you can see what changes color then the center section will do blue that does the, well, which what do become the end boards for it then we can have standard corn knives or rape knives those are the ones for um, canola oil seed rape uh, probably going to get demonetized now for using that word typically attach a type now universal means it should attach to pretty much any harvester you can have it specific to a tx32 the nova or that tv uh, tv 7347 T560s, then we've got the larger harvester types, the Mega 200 series, and back to Universal. I put it on Universal because I thought it would just make sense to be able to put them wherever you want. Then you've got PTO attacher, you can have left, left and right. So depending on what harvester you're using, or you know, you can change that to however you want. Those are the options. Oh yeah, the board. That's found under Tools and Miscellaneous. 
There you go, transport device. Slot count on six goes down to one. Options available, we can change the main colour, which will go from stainless steel to a kind of flat. And then there's a black one as well. Go back to stainless. Now, when I did this earlier, it went a bit funny. We have support wood, support metal, no support, and it falls over. If I go back to support wood, hmm, it's not liking that so much. There we go. So, those are your options. Let's hook up to it. If I drive forward for transport, I can hook the transport device on as well. Raise the whole thing up. He says. When I put my lights on, the lights, and we've got indica indicators on that as well. Which makes it a jolly handy bit of kit when we get to where we're going. We can well, just get the whole header. Let's just get that. Header unfolds like so. Nice smooth animation, neat and tidy. I do like that. 6.6 metres, not bad size header either. And the fact you can put it on some of the smaller harvesters too, like the, the um, class 200 mega and those sorts of ones, 6.6 .6 metre header on those is pretty good. For some of those smaller maps where you've got tight lanes and things, that might be quite handy. Once it's unfurled, we can then, on L1 and right stick up and down, adjust the header in, out, up and down, as you can with most headers. So what we'll do is fold that away. I'll put the front on, and I'll just show you what I mean about the trailers, because that front bit straps down. Now, obviously, you might not want to put it on a trailer, because the whole purpose of a foldable header is the fact you can do it on the harvester. You can transport it on the harvester, but just in case you want to strap it down. Let's hook that up. through from there and from the back it doesn't look like it does anything when you go around to the front it has actually hooked over that front attacher so because that is attached to that as soon as you lift it up and whatever trailer you're using with the straps that is now strapped down for transport pretty handy pretty cool so the Geringhoff slash Lizard Harvest Line HL660 by USXIS 7D and Land Mensch so that potentially wasn't a new mod but i think it was this is the one that's showing as a, a new mod and that's it for today now potentially if mods more mods drop later there might be a secondary mod review but in front of me we've got the john deere 500 now it says on the website on the mod hub grain cart i think it's supposed to be grain the john deere 500 grain cart by hemerson dentino 3.83 megabytes download, nine slots on console. It's an auger wagon slash grain cart. It will take your regular grain crop types for auger wagons, including seed and fertilizer. 15,000 litre capacity. We have got a lot of auger wagons, we've got a lot of grain carts, but if John Deere is particularly your thing, maybe this may be perfect for what you're looking for. We'll have a look at the pipe unfolding. In just a moment, you'll find it under tools and auger wagons on the end there. 26,500 to buy, requires 110, 110 horsepower. Slot count goes down from 9 to 1. No options available. You get it as it is. You've probably seen these operate before. Once opened, this one does not have an adjustable pipe. L1 and down on the D-pad opens the pipe out. And there you go. And that's it. The JT500 Grain Cart by Hemerson Dentinho. And that's it for the mods for today. Hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. 
whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.